My first day at Nice is just, it's just rough. I just kind of did too much the night before, if you kind of get my vibe. But we're persevering. Perseverance is the name of the game. Nice itself is not where you come for the beach vibe. Although drinking on pebbles, they, they well cater for, as I, as I found out. The city centre is alive with people though, and opens up into this amazing square. These statues on poles are each meant to represent one of the continents. I don't know which one is which, though, and I don't know what the posture is meant to mean. This somewhat less aesthetic display next to it I think is meant to represent all the people killed by vaccines, but there is no way I'm having a conversation with these people. Le Chateau, to the north of the city, has this stunning view looking south, and this waterfall which generates a cool mist my foggy brain is very much about. Next day, and my last day in France, I squish in a trip down to Cannes before my flight. The trains are for fine, but north to Monaco are rammed as this is race day. Just like north, the views are amazing, although I don't think as nice as the ones on the way to Monaco. Arrive with a tight two hour timeline to have a look around, so basically plan to just head north past all the film festival stuff, and then back south to the viewpoint. On the way, past some yachts which really make me question my decisions in life. I find it interesting to see where they're all registered, including this one which is registered in Luxembourg, which I thought had uh, limited access to the sea. Viewpoint has this sign which makes sense from a distance, but this side less so. I guess they don't care too much about influences, which I respect. Time running out, a bit more of a wander heading to the station, but due to something 150 kilometers away, that train is completely thrown off. End up getting on one a half hour later than expected, and this is when I start panicking about the flight I need to get on. Get to the hostel, grab my bag, and run for the tram because I don't trust Ubers and thought that was the best option. Also, I'm, I'm just very cheap. Admire this list of rules on the tram. After having someone blast my ears out with Michael Jackson in Paris, I, I really do respect and appreciate this. Hit the airport in okay time, security was well easy, and now I try to find a bar to watch the race. Although all I can find is the wrong sport. End up seeing it over some man's shoulder while boarding my next flight to Venice.